Hey, welcome back, beautiful Capricorns. I am going to pull on these confession decks here. Let's see. Now, this could be, this is the third parties. I want to hear what they want you to know. What's really going on here for Capricorn? Please and thanks, Spirit. Messages for Capricorn. He is a good person and deserves better than me. This karmic knows your person's just using them. And the karmic knows that this person still loves you. But they manipulate them into staying with them. They're saying, do yourself a favor and let it go. I am not good for him. I'm not a good fit for him. I just wanted to sabotage what you two have. We're not on the same page or the same level. And this person treats them like a doormat just when they need them. Empty shell, saying this man is an empty shell. I am Pandora's box waiting to be open. I know that I have a feeling this isn't going to last. I don't feel worth enough to find a good man like yours. <sighs> oh my God. He's been very quiet with me lately. I wonder why. He's learning his karmic lessons. But it's his choice if he wants to be with me and not you. <laughs> oh, God. You ain't challenged nothing. This karmic is a fake. Let's go, Capricorn. Now, reverse the roles. If you were the masculine whose feminine was out there, that's a... a this other masculine feels. It's like they're just being used. Okay? They're being used. A doormat. It's just they don't really want this person. It's convenient. It's because they want to sabotage what you have. Yeah. It's emotional manipulation. That's all it is. Feeding off your person's insecurities or uh, this is karma here. It's like just selfishness it's just like being used like they know darn well this person still has feelings for you and so they emotionally manipulate this person okay so whatever they don't think that this relationship is gonna last And they're saying, I don't, I'm too insecure to go find a good person. Oh my God. I cannot. Oh my God. Get out of town. It's just like, look, it's, he chose me, not you. You're like, whatever, I'm happy single and abundant. <laughs> it's rebound shit, man, I'm telling you, it is. It 
It's all about control. It's just wanting to sabotage something special. That's it. That's what karmics do. They see somebody happy. These are happiness haters. They want to sabotage it because it's special. They want to sabotage it because you want it. Or the other person wanted it. It's just... It's to win. That's all it is. To sabotage something that was special. That's it. That's the truth. But nothing compares to an empress. They argue a lot. It's just a control. That's what it is. The karmic's control. They're delusional. They really are. They're delusional. So it's like they're going to let this person, <clears throat> pardon me, treat them like a doormat because they're insecure. They just wanted to sabotage what you two had and then it's going to end up breaking up anyway. So this karma got angry and blocked you. It's only when they need to have sex is when they come around that karmic. When they need to have sex. That's it. It's sex based only. I don't care if they married them. I don't care if they committed to them. It's for so they can pleasure themselves. That's it. They fight and argue about everything and it's going to end up ending anyway. Because this person still is, is still in love with you. And the karmic knows it. And is jealous of, you, <laughs> of the love <coughs> that this person truly has for the empress. This is somebody... Who truly loves the Empress. So they fight and argue about you. They are. 90% of their arguments is about you. It's just to keep them there. and It's just immature. They're wasting their time. Because this person can't get over the past. Look, you instinctively know it, too. They know where home and happiness is. And most of you are not even interested. So, the look. The only reason this person isn't reaching out to you is fear of rejection. That's what they're worried about. That you're going to do to them what they did to you.
That's what they're worried about, that you're going to do to them what they did to you. So they could come back in collective. And it's like they could tell you, um, Capricorn, that I love you, Capricorn. I'm so sorry, Capricorn. Please forgive me, Capricorn. But then they're in the back of their mind, got a fear there. Oh, what if Capricorn goes out and does to me what I did to them? Because like-minded people think alike. So this is like, because they think that they they did that, they're assuming that you're going to think that. They are doing some work though, guys. They are. They're working on themselves. Or they're using work as a distraction. Home is where the heart is, and the heart is with Capricorn. So they can play their little games. I don't care. This karmic means nothing to this person. And I don't even care if they married him. That doesn't mean anything. It could have been out of convenience. I could not tell you, but yeah. I am Pandora's box, just waiting to be open. Don't piss me off. <laughs> oh, too funny. I don't know how old this karmic is, but they're very immature. <laughs> oh my god. I am Pandora's box, just a waiting to be open. They never meant the Empress back up with the Legion of Angels behind them. <laughs> you open Pandora's box on on this one. Oh my god. You might regret doing that, Karmic. Just saying, for real. You've got an Empress Energy who is like an Earth Angel, a star seed, with a legion of angels behind them, and you want to open Bandor's box. I think, my dear, you've already done that. That's why you're in Karma. Reality check. They got to be pretty young <laughs> or very immature. They don't understand. They're in Garma. They think they're in, like, there to teach this masculine a karmic lesson. Well, they forgot that they're learning one as well. They don't see their guilt in this situation. So be it. They don't. See, this is how unawakened they are. They don't see. They don't get it. They don't get it. They're not there to just teach this masculine a lesson or this feminine a lesson. The karmic energy doesn't realize they're in karma. That's why they got to learn their own lesson. For real. They're not just there to teach this personal lesson. They have their own lesson to learn. And the two of them together being dishonest with one another or faking it till you make it or something nobody's learning anything so i really don't know what they're thinking that they're so much above the masculine when the karmic it has got to be i don't know delusional 
Are they delusional? They don't realize they have their own lesson to learn? They don't realize that they're just wasting each other's time and energy? They don't realize that they have a huge lesson to learn? Take care.